So welcome to part three of the CBR 600RR Cadwell Park Challenge, where I'm gonna be building a bike, taking it to Cadwell Park, and trying my best to get past 10 litre super bikes of a value of between 10 and 15 grand. All, they've all got traction control, they've all got your control, slide control, anti-wheelie, all this lot. I'm just going there in 2004, CBR 600RR. Um, I'm going to be out of my depth. I've not ridden in six years, so let's just bring you up to speed on what we're doing this for if you've not watched any of the other videos. If you've not watched any of the other videos, what are you doing? Get back, go and watch the other videos, and like, and comment, and subscribe to the channel. We got new parts. Again, I've seen a friend of mine, Paul. And he's given me, well, originally I went to buy just these rear sets. Some nice GB motor rear sets. Already set up for race shift. So that's one problem solved. That'll just make the bike a hell of a lot easier to ride. Especially around Cadwell, it's so much nicer in race shift, in my opinion. Got myself some RBF 660 brake fluid. We're going to be changing that over because uh, there's nothing worse for brake fade than bad brake fluid. So, and this stuff is the daddy's stuff. I've used the racing ATE stuff as well. It used to be blue, super blue, but it's not blue anymore. I don't know what it's called now. I'm going to be doing it as cheaply as I can. We're not going to run it on 520 chain, probably the race one. We're going to run the 525 original size, original pitch. And some clip-ons in case I crash and break one, which is likely. The tyres, the tyres are absolutely mint. They are scrubs, but if you look, it's still got a chicken strip on the side. They're supposed to have done 20 laps of Mallory, but they've got chicken strips on them either side. They're like brand new. So, SC ones, absolute bargain. Just get them whacked on. And it'll also make the bike be road legal, which I may take it for a little blast on the road to test it out. So we've run into a little issue, which is the rear set, you've got to bolt the master cylinder on from the back for it to actually line up with the rear sets. I don't suppose it's that much of an issue, but I'm sure that's going to start fouling now. That's interesting. Am I a piece missing to, to stand it over to there? Like a rod or anything? Because I'm sure that's still supposed to fit that way. Anybody's got any ideas? Leave us a comment. adjustment on the rod to push it out to, to bring the lever up so there's got to be some part missing for the time being we'll leave that we've got on it a 16 on the front it's 42 teeth 525 pitch so I'm gonna order since that's 42 if I order a 14 front sprocket then I can run a 46 on the back. I think oh, there was a 48 there. 46. 525 46 teeth. So that will work out perfectly and I won't need to alter the chain size. And with that gearing on, that should get this thing wailing. Right, this is the most exciting part. It's where they get to fit race shift. 
So for anybody who doesn't know, race shift is when you go one up for first gear and then the rest of them down, up to top gear, up to sixth gear. And uh, road shift is obviously the opposite way around. One down for first, just regular motorbike gear shift. One down for first gear and then the rest of them is up to the top. Now if you flip that lever on the top there, theoretically that gives you rear shift because it's turning it the opposite way so you have to move the lever the, the opposite way but this hose will foul if i put the lever on the opposite side so the only solution to it is to buy new rear sets which have got the fulcrum down here and it just reverses it round and makes it so that you don't have to put this lever on the opposite side it just pulls the lever down rather than pushing it up for first gear generally these are tight and this is genuinely the first time I've tried to take it off and I'm going to use the iron hell impact gun there you go and these are tight so yeah iron hell if you want to win one of these wait for the end of the, uh, the video and I'll give you an option we're giving one away so new rear sets in position. So now that is absolutely torqued to perfection. That's four ugly duggers. So perfect. Now, I'm gonna have to take the sprocket off soon, uh, so I'm gonna leave this undone, but just so I can see where it's positioned. Um, when I took note, when it came off, it was exactly at a right angle to the rod. So. It's in a nice position. So now we've got race shift. So it's up for first. I got nothing. All right. We could have just found the first issue with this bike. Could have got a dicky gearbox. Right, so we've got a box full of neutrals. There's a gear. Here's a neutral. Be a first. Mm. A box full of gears, but we don't seem to have got first, which is a bit of a concern. So the missing first gear could be a bit of a problem. Well, we'll have to see how that develops. Pull the back wheel back in just so I can check to make sure we've got um, enough adjustment on the chain. Now I've changed the gearing. It's chain's going to be the same length. I won't have to alter the chain, so it saved me a little job. It'll lower gearing down for Cadwell, which is a really short, straighted circuit. It's like a low top speed circuit. So this thing will be really screaming in top gear. Um, I'm a little bit worried because 
first gear seems to be missing when I tried to go through the gearbox. It's kind of playing on my mind a little bit. Uh, we might have to get the engine out and split the engine, replace some selectors. I hope we don't have to do that because that'll be really time consuming and I've only got about three weeks before I want to get this out on track. So, bit of a problem, but the spindle's never had any grease on it whatsoever. So whoever's maintained this hasn't really done a very good job of it. Look at the state of that. Um, so... Yeah. Bearings are nice, the discs in good condition, so all the back end. I actually swap the tyre, the Corsa, front tyre for the Corsa, and I'm going to change the brake fluid. So we're going to do a giveaway for the YouTube channel and this is what I've decided we're going to give away. We're going to give away an impact gun and just to show you it's not just some crappy little impact gun. It'll be an impact gun with two batteries and an iron hell one and I'm going to show you now what it's capable of. It's a wicked piece of kit. This is the van I've just brought back from Scotland yesterday. I'll put the iron hell down. Right. I swear these haven't been undone recently or slackened off or anything. Now that's impressive. I've had other impact guns in the, unless you unless you pay six, seven hundred pounds for a nice impact gun. You're not gonna get one that undoes wheel nuts like that. This is special stuff, our own special blend, umiguli juice. <laughs> we collected it. Yeah. You drop that. Thank you, Doctor. It smells right nice, I don't Put want to take it. Put lid on that bloody expensive. That's 17 quid for brake fluid. Yeah, that's tough. So we got in touch with Paul, we got the rear sets off, and he's got the missing part for the brake to, to straighten that up. We've got the brake fluid changed, that's all got RBF 660 in, thanks to my dad for coming down and helping me with that. I couldn't have done it on a one man job, it's just too much for one of those little tiny master cylinders. As far as the gearbox goes, I'm a little bit worried about first gear not being there, but I have managed to get it in. Um, it wasn't easy, but I'm just thinking when the engine's running and you've got weight on the back wheel, I think it's going to be all right. 
it just seems a little bit strange. I've not had a gearbox do that before to me. So if you know like, anything about the CBR 600 RR ones that I don't know about, like, let me know if it's all right or not because it's freaking me out a little bit. I don't want to have to rebuild the gearbox. Um, Einhell, the impact gun. If you want to win that, I'm giving away a brand new one. Um, I'm not a big YouTube channel or anything like that. This is a lot to us, it's a lot of money to us. Uh, but I'm going to give it away to one of a thousand subscribers. Now I know what you're saying, we've not got a thousand subscribers. That's the whole point. We want a thousand subscribers and we're going to give it to one of those thousand subscribers. As soon as we hit a thousand, we're going to give that iron hell away to someone. We'll just draw it out of a hat. But the rules are, you've got to have subscribed to the channel. You've got to have liked this video and commented the word iron hell in the comments so as long as you've met all those criteria we'll just give it you and it, the competition will go for as long as it takes to get a thousand people to subscribe so if that's a week if that happens in a week that's great for us um, if it's six months that's not so great for us we want it to happen in a week we want it now so it's best for you to share and then we can just get it out to you so you may as well just share it with your friends and share the opportunity so uh, help us out guys the youtube channel is absolutely flying 206 subscribers as of today is just amazing it's more than i ever hoped for when i first started doing this and i'm not doing it for youtube i don't want to be a youtube star i'm doing it for my business you would not believe the amount of people when i'm arriving in in scotland uh, who are saying oh i've watched all your videos we had a booking this week on the strength of the birthday gift that we got for the kid in scotland the quad uh, he said yeah it's a little 50cc bike I wanted delivering for my son and I watched your video you actually quoted us more than the next guy but we want you to deliver it that's exactly what we're after so uh, thanks for everything guys your subscriptions and your comments and your likes really really do help us so keep it going thanks very much